Okay, since these videos are going over so well, which is awesome because we need everybody working together on this. We're only going to be able to figure this stuff out as a team. It's too much for one person. Uh, I just thought it'd be fun to uh, add a little bit more to these artifacts. You know, that video I did with the artifacts showing the same event taking place over and over again. All these different cultures depicting the same thing. Some, some, uh, some people messing with CERN or... The star they made unto themselves, the Amos 526 in the Bible talks about how underground somewhere these guys use some little toy or CERN or whatever you want to call it. And they smash light and they open a portal somewhere and out come these monsters, demons, legions, Saturn, Satan, Nephilim, giants, aliens, whatever you want to call them. And they lock us down and it's about bringing the return of the golden age of Saturn or just basically simply put unleashing hell on earth. Right? So... I thought it'd be kind of fun to use those same artifacts and just show them in a bunch of different movies. How it really is just the same story told over and over again, just just in a little just a little differently each time. Here's the Mayans. Here's Stargate. It's a cussing dead ringer. Here's the Phoenicians. Your two pillars, your cube or square, your doorway. Your uh, triangle, pyramid, whatever is your path, and there's your circle, the portal, the gateway. Yep. Here's your two pillars from Ghostbusters. Here's your square, your doorway. Here's your pyramid or triangle, your path, and there's your circle, your, your gateway, your portal. Here it is uh, in the Babylonians, and here it is in the movie The Avengers, right? Here's even the square. The guy, even before this this part in the movie where they actually smash light using this thing, talks about how the cube is a doorway to the other side of space. I mean, here's CERN, and here this thing is. I mean, this is looks to me almost like an exact replica. So they use this thing, and what happens? They open a portal, and Loki comes out, right? And Loki is Saturn, Satan, all the same thing. Pretty crazy. And then um, here's the Assyrians, right? Showed us a big keyhole because that's that's what it basically is. You etch it out, looks like a big giant keyhole. That's why the Vatican set up that way because they know what's going on. Here it is in uh, in the new Thor movie. Thanks to the teammate for letting me know about this because I I haven't seen this movie, but. I was able to get my hands on it and find it and then thank, with their help where it is in the movie so I don't have to watch this whole big piece of garbage. But you can see it clear as day. Here's the keyhole right here. And it actually looks like it's inside a bigger keyhole. Right here's that and then it comes down here. But there it is there. And what's funny is, right, this little, you see this little demon guy right here? Watch what he does with this thing. Watch what he does. What do you do? Smashes it, breaks it, right? Because that's what's happened. They broke this thing, and now we're stuck. We're trapped in this merry-go-round, over and over, redo, rerun, fractal, fractured, however you say it, whatever it is, reality, right? We just keep going round and round and round and round. Because just like Pink Floyd tried to tell us, we had one true light, one true source from the Creator, and then they busted it, and now we get this you know, mishmash of all this junk now that we see. Because we don't see everything clearly. That's why you have your, your, uh, you know, your celebrities and your presidents, or they cover one eye, or they wink. It's because we don't see everything clearly, because they busted this system, and now we're stuck, we're trapped here. Just going round and round and round, over and over again, same thing. And this whole thing, you know, is a, uh, this is, here it is again in your Windows logo. This is just a square and a circle. And the wavy lines represent time because it's a time cube. And we know that Satan, Saturn, right, or Satan, prince of uh, space and time, right? And what they want to do is they want to reboot the system. They want to restart it. That's why they keep telling us to go green because we're almost done with, with this cycle, with this age. So they want to start it over again. So we got to go green so we can reboot, restart. That's why they call it the economic reset. And this isn't from a movie, but I had another teammate 
which thanks thanks to them very much for sending this to me. Here's the Aztecs. This is from a, I've been wanting to use this for a while, and here's a perfect opportunity. This is from a game called Master Reboot, right? Here it is again. Same thing. They want to reboot the system. They want to open the portal, let these things out, lock us down, and start a whole new awful age again. That's, what's, that's what, the golden age of Saturn. It's what they want to do. It's just the same story told over and over again. And then this one's great. This is from Occult Science before he shut his, cha uh, his channel down. This, this is awesome. This is an amazing catch. This is from Angels and Demons. There, smash light. Boom. There's a portal opening up. Now you see this? Remember we talked about this. These are the fireworks. Remember? People are dum-dums when every 4th of July they're setting off fireworks because they are not celebrating their independence. What they are ce celebrating is their enslavement. These fireworks resemble when this when this star broke, when it fell, when they broke this system and we got locked and trapped in this round and round and round reality that we're in. You see they smash light. Now you'll see a portal open up. And it is by no coincidence, because remember, this thing is all tied to Saturn. It's no coincidence that you see this come flying at you. Right there, where have we seen this? This is the seal of Saturn. I mean, come on, it's coincidence. Give me a break. Maybe the first time or second time, but no, not this many times. The X inside the cube, right? Freaking Saturn. X represents the four sides of the cube. It's also a very old symbol of Saturn, has been for a while. Hexagon is just a two-dimensional version of a three-dimensional cube that's on the north pole of the planet Saturn. You have the whole Bible verse, we don't struggle with flesh and blood, but powers and principalities in high places. And if you're high above a pyramid looking down, you'll see this. It's no coincidence. And they're going to do this stuff again. They have a bunch of times before. So I just thought it'd be kind of fun to show in a bunch of different movies and what have you how it's not just the artifacts. You know, it's TV shows, it's it's in songs. They just tell you the same story over and over again. They just mix it up so many different ways that we just don't catch on. So, but some of us do at least, at least. And there's nothing we can do, right? We can't change it. We can't we, we, we can't fight against black magic and all this evil stuff they're doing. But at least we know because whether people know it or not, when you don't know what's going on with this stuff, you're, 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 you're siding with something that you don't know. You're pledging allegiance to something that you don't know. We can't, and just knowing this stuff doesn't make it easier to be a good, great, awesome, perfect person. It doesn't make it any easier, but at least we have a little bit of inspiration to try. That's, where, that's what I do this stuff for, because I'm trying to change. That's all I'm trying to do, and it's hard. I just woke up three years ago. You know, I'm 32 years old. I have 29 years of bad habits. I can't just change overnight, and it's amazing when people talk about you know, me cussing and stuff. It's really, I am a, I'm a much more patient person now than I have ever been. And I try every day to change who I am and for the better and work on myself. It's hard enough to do that, let alone change my entire vocabulary. Okay. My brain works so much faster than my mouth. And sometimes it slips up. And to be honest with you, I, I redo these videos enough as it is because I'm a perfectionist. I don't have time to do it every single time just because I might have let a, a, a cuss word come out. All we can do is try our best. And to stay out of each other's business and to focus on the things that are important. Like this trick that they're trying to play on everybody. It's obvious, it's, if you know what you're looking at, it's clear as day that there's something going on. Maybe we're not 100% right about what's happening, about all this stuff. But I think we have shown without a shadow of a doubt that there is absolutely some sort of common thread about all this stuff. And we know that Mark Twain said it best, If even if he didn't, it's made up, it doesn't matter. I tell you, some... Some truer words have never been spoken, and it's easier to trick someone than it is to tell them that they've been tricked. So I'm just going to keep talking about this stuff and explaining it the best I can and sharing the research that other people are, are doing and just try to get it out there. And, and maybe before it all goes down, we got a really good idea of what's happening. So thanks to everybody for watching. I appreciate all my teammates and subs because we are a team. Some people don't seem to get that, but whatever. So thanks to everybody for watching. You all are great. Keep up the great work. Let's keep digging.